I'll tell you what, that log carrier we built, it works fantastic. I got all my stuff together for my little woodshed I'm building. i am uh, already got my block set and I got it all squared up. And I'm going to use the Pecron E2000 today. Uh, so I don't have to run extension cords and guys this is great for putting into your truck that you guys doing building decks whatever the case may be as you can see Indy's helping me don't let that board go nowhere you keep it right there okay good job Indy good job all right so let's just see how this thing's gonna work three and five eighths right around there. So I'm taking my saw. Here, I'll just show you. Let's fit down into the locks. Yeah. That thing is amazing. You don't even slow it down. It seemed like a battery, you'd bog that thing down. That pick on? Yeah. It don't. Let's go back almost two inches. All the way around it. Just mark. basically almost like you did the beds only it is kind of only square instead of round yeah and then i just saw them straight with the line on here because my blade would go too deep if i come across this way i don't know if that makes sense or not but i'm just following each line oh yeah i see what you're and saying they're, they're breaking right off with my chisel right. hammer do you have to set the depth how it's set okay Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Almost hit you, didn't I? Just about. I miss saw that. You know? That's just all deep river go. This log is just a hair bigger. Yeah. So, let's chisel it. That's okay. I can do that. Oh. Stop staying in front of that. Might get you. this leftover ends of our logs so we figured we might as well make the wood wood rack look pretty yeah use them up we don't like to waste stuff
All right. There's another one. Looks good. Oh. Too big? It's perfect. Oh. That's a good o. That was a good o. That was a good o. <laughs> okay. All right. Throw it over here. We'll do another one. They sure got a lot lighter after they dried, haven't they? Oh yeah. Wouldn't have been way lighter. Wouldn't have been able to do that too good with a green one. No, they were a lot heavier before. Alright. <clears throat> Come on up here, lady, and sit down on my porch. We've got to get them boys are being. They the missed their sight. They miss their porch, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, we decided to take that take a coffee break. You remember on some of our other videos, we was always sitting out there in the bark. <laughs> we was peeling trees, and on we a, had no walls up. On a stump. Yeah, that's right. We sat on a stump half the time. And so we finished it, and we've got it on Airbnb now. If any y'all want to come and visit. But we're pretty pleased with it. It's turned out way better than we ever thought, ain't it? We have fun sharing it with people. Yep. We thank all our viewers, that's for sure, for supporting us. You guys are awesome. We're enjoying all the crystals. Look at the, you can see them sparkling in the sun. Wanted to go, show you guys our little table we made out here. We, we've been using that little plastic ugly thing. I had an old railroad jack they used on the railroad and Cinda made the piece of wood. I put a plate on it, but what's cool is it, it I made it where you can, if you're really tall, you can jack it up higher if you want to. <laughs> How do you like that? Kind of high level, you can eat right <laughs> off of it. Or you can go back down. I thought that was kind of, turned out pretty good. We're enjoying it. And Indy does love his porch naps. <laughs> Work. Yep. Sure it's a pretty day though. Beautiful. January and it just starts the shirt sleeve weather today. Yeah. It's a pretty day. Well guys, we've got the Pecron E2000 solar generator. And th this dude is a true solar generator. Uh, we've, we're have we gonna show you why. We've got the Pecron uh, 200 watt solar panels that we're gonna hook into it. And we also got a 350 watt solar panel that we're gonna hook in. And we're able to do that without tying those together because Pecron sends you two of the- uh, and, uh, Adapter. Yeah, the cord adapters, thank you. And so we've got those two hooked up. Uh, our sun is really low right now. We're having a hard time getting, getting it this time of year, but it is charging some but it's not putting out as much as it normally does, but but that's okay. We're just kind of showing you how it works. And so this thing's nice. It's got three uh, independent built-in MPPT uh, charge controllers. Uh, this top one is 12 to 18 volts, 100 watt maximum. And then it has these two right here below it that charge up to 600 watts each using 32 to 95 volts. So, so that, that's an amazing uh, point on this charger uh, generator. And then, uh, so maximum, which is awesome, you can charge up to 1300 watts with a solar panel putting into this and then use it at the same time. And if you got 1300 watts, you can charge this up in only two hours. 
and it'll be full up fully charged which is, which is another amazing thing a lot of them won't do that and uh, so it's great for the guys on the job it'll run little saws and uh, router whatever you want to run or you can take it camping uh, go in the backwoods hunters can use these uh, they're, they're amazing little solar panel and you can also get two more batteries to go with this it's expandable right there on the side by by his knee they have a, a place where you can hook up two more and that takes it up to 8,000 watts because the extra batteries are I think 3,000 each 3,000 yeah. watt hours each yeah so a good little unit okay so I went ahead and unhooked all the uh, connectors to the solar panels for so both of them and what's nice this thing just folds up so easy you just curl it right up like that this velcro down yeah just keep on folding it on this one fold that right across i've already put the cords back up got a nice pouch on the back of it and i just set them right there on my feet and those plug right back in and boy, it's nice. That's a 200 watt. And boy, is it, it's nice, not heavy. Yeah, so, I like that one because it's not so heavy to carry around. Yeah, yeah, that bigger 350 watts pretty heavy. So, so it's, boy, I, I recommend that unit. It's a nice little unit. And you can get, uh, since that takes 600 watts on each um, input, you could, you could uh, use three of those solar panels in series mm -hmm. for each input each if you wanted to yeah. yeah yeah or you could use you know the rigid panels if you have those at your home to to actually use it for backup power yeah. we used some of our wood preservative and really soaked it in good onto the bottoms and we'll stain the rest of them later when we get them all put up See my deal. Hang on just a minute and I'll help you. Hey. Don't want to do without you, lady. Uh, nail to it, or how you doing? I got screws. Screws? Screw gun. You gonna hold up? Yeah, it's right later on the back of the tailgate. Almost got it. What did you do without your assistant? I don't know. All right, right there. I'm pretty close. You mean like this? <laughs> that looks pretty good. It's just a wood shed, but.
I'm just drilling the pilot hole through this so I don't split a whole bunch of stuff. enough power Jim oh my battery's dead well, my battery went dead so we're gonna use the pectron plug her in all right pulling 102 watts all right all right we'll get her done That won't work. I have to go get my big drill and run off the picker on, I guess. <clears throat> my log moved on me. Mm -hmm. See, my log moved on me. Yeah, I'll get a socket or a ratchet and tighten them down before we go any further.
together. I got a, something's gonna have to cut me a bunch of uh, live edge and I'm gonna wrap it. Sides and back. So I can put my, my wood in there. Well, I got the woodshed pretty much done except for the siding and the roof. Uh, turned out pretty good. Used up a bunch of our old wood and still our logs that we had we didn't use on the house. They turned out really good. That way we'll have some extra, an extra place to put our wood in here and kind of keep it out of the weather. I may put a uh, tarp over the front or a uh, set of doors on there. Haven't decided yet. Anyway, looking good. Well, I just got the last piece of metal on. Looking good. I gotta cut the end off just a little bit. That's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna go down. If shit ain't able, I'm gonna cut some uh, live edge for around this. It's gonna look real good. I'm gonna go get my sprayer and treat it like I did the outside of this with the uh, that outlast um, preservative that we have. So we're gonna put that on there. Hopefully it still lasts a while. Lance is building a little woodshed. He's making it awful pretty. How come I don't have a fancy one like that at my house? What? How come I don't have a fancy woodshed like this at my house? <laughs> you sure match? I mean, uh, good question. You sure match some boards awful good with that coat on. Oh, <laughs> you can't see me out there. <laughs> it's like camo man. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Now I'm gonna board board and batten right over that. So. Put some more, are you putting live edge over it? Yep. Okay, that'll look good. Yep. He's finally using the mill. <laughs> he took it back over from his wife. I don't know how to use that mill. You didn't know how much fun I was having doing it, did you? No, that was fun. Hang on a minute, I'll show you one of these. Huh? I'll tell you what it's going to look like. The old Petron's working good. Yeah, we got enough sun today. We ought to set up the solar panels. Yeah, we can. It was cloudy yesterday. All right. I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like because I, I want to spray behind this with my stain. Oh, okay. But so don't this. rot. Yeah. <laughs> I think you need some longer screws. <laughs> I thought that one would reach. That's Put funny. We'll move it over right there. Right there. <laughs> 
You're gonna have to do use the long ones. There you go. That won't happen again. <laughs> Sometimes, like. sometimes longer is better. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I like it. Like I said, I gotta spray those boards first. Cause I want, I want to preserve the wood as long as I can. Yeah. So, all right. So you're spraying the underneath row and then putting the top ones on top? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm following you now. Well guys, the Pecron has done a good job. It helped me build this woodshed. I've got a stain just a little bit more. I just finished putting on my outside boards. And I got to stain the inside just a little more. But uh, look at this thing. It turned out really nice. I'm pretty proud of it. I've got to stain the back side. And I'm going to go get the stain right now and, and spray it down. Same stain that we used on the cabin and so far so good everything's working out Brody made new friends we're out of the lake and this is Toby <laughs> Indian Brody and Toby met a new friend named John He's out here camping. We're out here at Big Fur again. Gonna spend a couple days out here. And there's our camper over there. do is make some coffee right now in the Craig and yeah, we've already hooked up our solar panels and uh, they're pulling we are in front of it now so it's not pulling as much it was pulling 140 watt but Indy's getting warm now so he says that's a good spot for my Heidi so we'll turn on the uh, power and we're gonna make a cup of hot coffee we got a Craig I need one because it's kind of chilly out here this morning. Caramel vanilla cream. Oh. oh I guess I'd have turned it on, hadn't I? Yeah, it's going to take a while. It'll take just a minute to heat up. But uh, we're going to cook some bacon, some pancakes, and use the electric skillet off this and everything. So we'll show you guys some more here in just a minute. Oh, yeah. As you can see, when the coffee pot's heating back up. It's using 1,436 watts. But our solar, solar panel's bringing in 144, and this is only a 200 watt solar panel, so on a cold winter day, that's doing really good. We've got some bacon going, and we're pulling 1,478 watts with that electric fillet. Running it just fine. This one's cool too because it shows also how much longer you have. So if we kept running this, we'd only have about a half hour because we started. The battery was kind of low when we left home. We're idiots and didn't have it charged up. Yeah. It's okay. It'll charge up today though while we're kayaking. Well, the bacon's about done. So I just put a pancake on there and look at them homemade blueberries. Homemade, homegrown. Those are off mama's tree, a uh, bush, her blueberry bush. So we're getting ready to eat them. 
There's she putting the blueberries in. Oh, makes them so good. They're good without them, but they're even better with them. I hope it warms up a little bit. I'm yeah, gonna have a hard time kayaking. <laughs> it's 38 degrees out here right now. That was a nice flip. She looks so slippery. I know. Well, guys, we got her done. There's a pancake, bacon, I'm getting ready to put some syrup on it. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So we're out here at the lake. We got up early this morning to take the boys out for their walk, and they met two new friends. This is Gordon, and their other friend must have went to take a nap. They've been playing all morning together been having a really good time. They've never had a pack before, so this has really been fun for them. Yeah, we've come out to an island with our kayaks. Brody was sleeping there he woke <laughs> up. He's loving, loving the sun. Turned out to be a nice day. Wind's up a little bit. We kayaked out to those islands out there. And it got really windy and there was white caps. So we came back. And not two minutes after we got up here, the wind just quit. Yeah. It's still blowing a little bit over there, but not bad. So we would have just waited just a little bit. <laughs> it was no big deal. We just didn't want to lose one of the dogs overboard. Right. Right at four o'clock, the sun's getting close to the horizon. We're still charging. It's up to 56%. And even, even with the sun almost down, we're still pulling in 90 watts. So that's really good in the winter time. So we got our charge back up enough to use tonight and have breakfast again in the morning. If we'd have brought or two solar panels, it would have been full by now. But somebody only brought one. <laughs> what are you looking at, lady? No, actually, we didn't figure we would be this close to the water where we have an open spot, so we didn't have a long enough cord to do two. We ended up not needing a cord. Anyway, we're super happy with this little guy. We got one done resting in the pan. The other one is almost done. It's flaring up. Let's see. Better check it. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's just a piece of I just don't want it to burn. piece of fat right there. Yummy. I'm hungry. Get off there. Hash brown steak. Good looking man. All right. <laughs> Salad. Beautiful sunset. 
And a full moon trying to peek through right there. It's going to be a pretty night. Yep. Cold though. Get down to 34, I think. Yep. There's the last of the sun just peeking over the mountain. I think we're just a little close to that fire. You think? Well, guys, we got up this morning and look at this sunrise. Oh, my gosh. Man, is that beautiful or what? <laughs> look at that. The pink's going all the way around. Oh my word, yes it was. Well, there you have it, Lake Washita, you can't beat it. It's a really beautiful morning, but it's cold. We got frost on all the kayak. <laughs> I am not putting that life jacket on. <laughs> are all out there talking to each other. Just making this a short trip, but it's been fun.